The Tripitaka Sanskrit or Tipitaka Pali, is the traditional term for the Buddhist scriptures. The version canonical to Theravada Buddhism is generally referred to in English as the Pali Canon. Mahayana Buddhism also holds the Tripitaka to be authoritative but, unlike Theravadins, it also includes in its canon various derivative literature and commentaries that were composed much later. The Tripitaka was composed between about 500 BCE to about the start of the Common Era, likely written down for the first time in the 1st century BCE. The Dipavamsa states that during the reign of Valagumba of Anuradhapura the monks who had previously remembered the Tipitaka and its commentary orally now wrote them down in books, because of the threat posed by famine and war. The Mahavamsa also refers briefly to the writing down of the canon and the commentaries at this time. Each Buddhist sub-tradition had its own Tripitaka for its monasteries, written by its Sangha, each set consisting of 32 books, in three parts or baskets of teachings, one, the basket of expected discipline from monks Vinaya Pitaka, two, basket of discourse Sutra Pitaka, Nikayas, and three, basket of special doctrine Abhidharma Pitaka. The structure, the code of conduct and moral virtues in the Vinaya basket particularly, have similarities to some of the surviving Dharmasutra texts of Hinduism. Much of the surviving Tripitaka literature is in Pali, with some in Sanskrit as well as other local Asian languages. Etymology Tripitaka Sanskrit or Tipitaka Pali literally translates as three baskets pitaka, pitaka or pita, pita meaning basket or box made from bamboo or wood. According to Monier Williams, the three baskets were originally the receptacles of the palm leaf manuscripts in which were preserved the Sutta Pitaka, the Vinaya Pitaka and the Abhidhamma Pitaka the three divisions that constitute the Pali Canon. These terms are also spelled without diacritics as Tripitaka and Tipitaka in scholarly literature. <laughs> Chronology The dating of the Tripitaka is unclear. Max Muller states that the current structure and contents of the Pali Canon took shape in the 3rd century BCE after which it continued to be transmitted orally from generation to generation just like the Vedas and the early Upanishads until finally being put into written form in the 1st century BCE nearly 500 years after the lifetime of Buddha. According to A.K. Warder the Tibetan historian Bhustan said that around or before the 1st century CE there were 18 schools of Buddhism and their Tripitakas were written down by then. However, except for one version that has survived in full, and others of which parts have survived, all of these texts are lost to history or yet to be found. The Tripitaka was compiled and put into writing for the first time during the reign of King Walagambahu of Sri Lanka, 1st century BCE. According to Sri Lankan sources, more than 1,000 monks who had attained arahantship were involved in the task. The place where the project was undertaken was in Aluvihare, Matail, Sri Lanka. The resulting texts were translated into four related Indo-European languages of South Asia, Sanskrit, Pali, Paisachi and Prakrit, sometime between 1st century BCE and 7th century CE. Portions of these were later translated into a number of East Asian languages such as Chinese, Tibetan and Mongolian by ancient visiting scholars, which though extensive are incomplete. Wu and Chia state that emerging evidence, though uncertain, suggests that the earliest written Buddhist Tripitaka texts may have arrived in China from India by the 1st century BCE. Topic: The three categories The Tripitaka is composed of three main categories of texts that collectively constitute the Buddhist canon. These are, the Sutta Pitaka, the Vinaya Pitaka and the Abhidhamma Pitaka. The Sutra Pitaka is older than the Vinaya Pitaka, and the Abhidharma Pitaka represents a later tradition of scholastic analysis and systematization of the contents of the Sutta Pitaka originating at least two centuries after the other two parts of the canon. The Vinaya Pitaka appears to have grown gradually as a commentary and justification of the monastic code which presupposes a transition from a community of wandering mendicants the Sutra Pitaka period to a more sedentary monastic community the Vinaya Pitaka period. Even within the Sutra Pitaka it is possible to detect older and later texts. Vinaya 
rules and regulations of monastic life that range from dress code and dietary rules to prohibitions of certain personal conducts. <laughs> Sutra The Buddha delivered all his sermons in Magadhan, the local language of northeastern India where the Buddha was born, raised and educated. These sermons were rehearsed orally during the meeting of the first Buddhist council just after the Parinibbana of the Buddha. The teachings continued to be transmitted orally until they were written down in the first century BCE. Abhidhamma <inaudible> <inaudible> Philosophical and psychological analysis and interpretation of Buddhist doctrine. Topic in Indian Buddhist schools. Each of the early Buddhist schools likely had their own recensions of the Tripit, aka. According to some sources, there were some Indian schools of Buddhism that had five or seven pitakas. Topic. Mahasamgika The Mahasamgika Vinaya was translated by Buddhabhadra and Faxian in 416 CE, and is preserved in Chinese translation The 6th century CE Indian monk Paramartha wrote that 200 years after the Parinirvana of the Buddha, much of the Mahasamgika school moved north of Rajagra, and were divided over whether the Mahayana Sutras should be incorporated formally into their Tripit aka. According to this account, they split into three groups based upon the relative manner and degree to which they accepted the authority of these Mahayana texts. Paramartha states that the Kukkutaka sect did not accept the Mahayana Sutras as Buddhavacana, words of the Buddha, while the Lokottaravada sect and the Ikavyavaharika sect did accept the Mahayana Sutras as Buddhavacana. Also in the 6th century CE, Avalokitavrata writes of the Mahasamgikas using a great Agama Pitaka which is then associated with Mahayana sutras such as the Prajnaparamita and the Dasapamika Sutra. According to some sources, Abhidharma was not accepted as canonical by the Mahasamgika school. The Theravadan Dipavamsa, for example, records that the Mahasamgikas had no Abhidharma. However, other sources indicate that there were such collections of Abhidharma, and the Chinese pilgrims Faxian and Xuanzang both mention Mahasamgika Abhidharma. On the basis of textual evidence as well as inscriptions at Nagarjunakanda, Joseph Walzer concludes that at least some Mahasamgika sects probably had an Abhidharma collection, and that it likely contained five or six books. Kadika The Kadikas included a number of sub-sects including the Purvasalas, Aparasalas, Siddharthakas, and Rajajorikas. In the 6th century CE, Avalokitavrata writes that Mahayana sutras such as the Prajnaparamita and others are chanted by the Aparasalas and the Purvasalas. Also in the 6th century CE, Bhavavivaka speaks of the Siddharthakas using a Vidyadhara pitaka, and the Purvasalas and Aparasalas both using a Bodhisattva pitaka, implying collections of Mahayana texts within these Kadika schools. The Bausrudiya school is said to have included a Bodhisattva Pitaka in their canon. The Satyasiddhi Sastra, also called the Tattvasiddhi Sastra, is an extant Abhidharma from the Bausrudiya school. This Abhidharma was translated into Chinese in 16 fascicles Taisho Tripitaka 1646. Its authorship is attributed to Harivarman, a 3rd century monk from central India. Paramartha cites this Bausrutiya Abhidharma as containing a combination of Hinayana and Mahayana doctrines, and Joseph Walzer agrees that this assessment is correct. Prajñaptavada The Prajñaptavadins held that the Buddha's teachings in the various Pitakas were nominal SKT, Prajñapti, conventional SKT, Samvyarti, and causal SKT, Hetufala. Therefore, all teachings were viewed by the Prajñaptavadins as being of provisional importance, since they cannot contain the ultimate truth. It has been observed that this view of the Buddha's teachings is very close to the fully developed position of the Mahayana Sutras. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Sarvastivada. Scholars at present have a nearly complete collection of sutras from the Sarvastivada school. Thanks to a recent discovery in Afghanistan of roughly two-thirds of Durga Agama in Sanskrit. The Madhyama Agama was translated by Gautama Samgadeva, and is available in Chinese. The Samyukta Agama was translated by Gunabhadra, also available in Chinese translation. The Sarvastivada is therefore the only early school besides the Theravada for which we have a roughly complete sutra pit a.k.a. The Sarvastivada Vinaya Pitaka is also extant in Chinese translation, as are the seven books of the Sarvastivada Abhidharma Pit a.k.a. There is also the encyclopedic Abhidharma Mahavabhasa Sastra which was held as canonical by the Vaibhasika Sarvastivadins of northwest India. <laughs> Mula Sarvastivada Portions of the Mulasarvastivada Tripitaka survive in Tibetan translation and Nepalese manuscripts. The relationship of the Mulasarvastivada school to Sarvastivada school is indeterminate, their Vinayas certainly differed but it is not clear that their Sutra Pitaka did. The Gilgit manuscripts may contain agamas from the Mulasarvastivada school in Sanskrit. The Mulasarvastivada Vinaya Pitaka survives in Tibetan translation and also in Chinese translation the Gilgit manuscripts also contain Vinaya texts from the Mulasarvastivada school in Sanskrit. Dharmaguptaka A complete version of the Durga Agama of the Dharmaguptaka school was translated into Chinese by Buddhayasas and Zhu Fonian in the later Qin dynasty, dated to 413 CE. It contains 30 sutras in contrast to the 34 suttas of the Theravadan Diga Nikaya. A. K. Warder also associates the extant Ekatara Agama with the Dharmaguptaka school, due to the number of rules for monastics, which corresponds to the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya. The Dharmaguptaka Vinaya is also extant in Chinese translation and Buddhist monastics in East Asia adhere to the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya. The Dharmaguptaka Tripitaka is said to have contained a total of five pitakas. These included a Bodhisattva Pitaka and a Mantra Pitaka ch. Zhou Kang also sometimes called a Dharani Pit a.k.a. According to the 5th century Dharmaguptaka monk Buddhayasas, the translator of the Dharmaguptaka Vinaya into Chinese, the Dharmaguptaka school had assimilated the Mahayana Tripitaka ch. Da Sheung San Kang. Mahisasaka The Mahisasaka Vinaya is preserved in Chinese translation Taisho Tripitaka 1421, translated by Buddhajiva and Zhu Daosheng in 424 CE. Kasayapaya Small portions of the Tipitaka of the Kasyapaya school survive in Chinese translation. An incomplete Chinese translation of the Samyukta Agama of the Kasyapaya school by an unknown translator circa the Three Qin San Qin period 352-431 CE survives. In the Theravada school The complete Tripitaka set of the Theravada school is written and preserved in Pali in the Pali Canon. Buddhists of the Theravada school use the Pali variant Tipitaka to refer what is commonly known in English as the Pali Canon. In Mahayana schools The term Tripitaka had tended to become synonymous with Buddhist scriptures, and thus continued to be used for the Chinese and Tibetan collections, although their general divisions do not match a strict division into three Pitakas. I. China An organized collection of Buddhist texts began to emerge in the 6th century, based on the structure of early bibliographies of Buddhist texts. 
However, it was the Kaiyuan era catalog by Jisheng in 730 that provided the lasting structure. Jisheng introduced the basic six-fold division with Sutra, Vinaya, and Abhidharma belonging to Mahayana and Hinayana. It is likely that Jisheng's catalog proved decisive because it was used to reconstruct the canon after the persecutions of 845 CE, however it was also considered a perfect synthesis of the entire 400-year development of a proper Chinese form of the canon. As a title The Chinese form of Tripitaka Sanzang, San Kang was sometimes used as an honorary title for a Buddhist monk who has mastered the teachings of the Tripit aka. In Chinese culture this is notable in the case of the Tang dynasty monk Xuanzang, whose pilgrimage to India to study and bring Buddhist texts back to China was portrayed in the novel Journey to the West as Tang Sanzang. Tang Dynasty Tripitaka Master. Due to the popularity of the novel, the term Sanzang is often erroneously understood as a name of the monk Xuanzang. One such screen version of this is the popular 1979 Monkey TV series. The modern Indian scholar Rahul Sankratiyan is sometimes referred to as Tripitakacharya in reflection of his familiarity with the Tripit aka. See also Agama Buddhism Early Buddhist texts Buddhist texts Pali Canon Tripitaka Koreana Jiaocheng Jin Tripitaka Topic Notes Topic Further reading Walzer, Joseph 2005, Nagarjuna in Context, Mahayana Buddhism and Early Indian Culture, Columbia Univ PR, ISBN 978-0231131643 Dutt, Nalinaksha Buddhist Sects in India, Mudalal Banarsidass, ISBN 81-208-0428-7 Harris, Ian Charles 1991, The Continuity of Madhyamaka and Yogacara in Indian Mahayana Buddhism, Brill Academic Pub, ISBN 9789004094482. External links Pali Canon, Access to Insight has many suttas translated into English Sutta Central Early Buddhist Texts, Translations, and Parallels multiple languages Tipitaka Network List of Pali Canon Suttas translated into English ongoing The Pali Tipitaka Project Texts in Seven Asian Languages the Sri Lanka Tripitaka Project Pali Canons has a searchable database of the Pali texts the Vietnamese Nikaya continuing, text in Vietnamese search in English translations of the Tipitaka New Guide to the Tipitaka has summaries of the entire Tipitaka in English Myanmar version of Buddhist Canon 6th revision, Buddhist Bible Myanmar version without original Pali text Chinese Buddhist Canon, Buddhist Text Translation Society, Sutra Texts Budanet's e-book library English PDFs www database of Chinese Buddhist texts English index of some East Asian Tripitakas Tripitaka titles and translations in English CBETA full Chinese language canon and extended canon includes downloads Tibetan tradition Kangyur and Tengyur projects Tibetan texts Kangyur and Tengyur translating projects Tibetan texts Tripitaka collections extensive list of online Tripitaka Sri Lankan version of Tipitaka Buddha Jayanti edition of Tipitaka in Sinhala Sri Lankan version Tipitaka Tipitaka in Sinhala Sri Lankan version